Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia, located in Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Do you sometimes feel like a misfit? I know I have. In fact, uh, I used to wonder why until some of these things started gelling for me. And we're talking years ago. So if this is new to you, welcome to my channel. I explain a lot of things in my videos, but I regularly offer classes, webinars, sessions, and books. So let's talk about it. Why do you feel like a misfit? Like you don't fit in? Well, sometimes it's because people have made you to feel that way. And I'm sorry about that. None of us should make others feel unwelcome. I mean, after all, sometimes the way I look at this in the larger scope of things, we're all on this planet, right? But just like a huge family, we have domestic violence. We have things that, you know, like we don't want to share with people. And all the way at the one extreme doesn't work, all the way at the other. But there you are somewhere in the middle just feeling yourself and saying, where do I fit in? I've got to fit in somewhere. No, it's who you fit with, who you fit in with. So why do you feel like this? Well, let's go a little bit back in time. Did this start for you at a very young age where you feel different? There's a reason for it. For little kids... We are coming freshly from the place into our incarnation. This is why some kids remember bits and pieces of their past life. They won't talk because they're accustomed to communicating through heart communication a form, or a form of telepathy. They'll look at you. This is why some people seem like those really old souls even inside a baby or a toddler body. Why? They have been here in multiple incarnations. They really have kind of honed some of themselves here, but like they may not fit. Do they fit with the adults? Do they fit with the other kids? Are they super smart? Are they a prodigy of some kind? So did this start for you at a very young age? Okay. For whatever reason, does it make you feel different? Has it made you feel different? It could. Okay. I felt like I was different. I had some of the earliest memories of being from a place. That would be the best way I could describe it. And, you know, it took me years to really get back to that place and understand where that place was. Now, for some people, they have a near-death experience to let them know. And that happens later in life, usually as the result of some crisis or accident, something. They have something happen. I'm here to tell you, you don't need to have that happen just to connect to the place where you're from. And that's a good thing because we don't need any more crises. We don't need any more rough stuff. This is rough and raw as it is sometimes. So have you been made to feel that somehow you're always on the outside? Now, I mean, I grew up in a neighborhood where we kind of all knew each other, but yeah, people would pick on each other and there were no anti-bullying policies like there are now because bullying still happens. Bullying is happening even as we speak, but it doesn't feel good to be on the outside and it doesn't feel good to have to join the bullies sometimes or to join the pushy people, or join the people that are making you choose sides. You want to be yourself because that is your main impetus. You're here for love. You're here to be with who you're supposed to be with, that one person, and exude your own personal vibration and love energy. So in some ways, maybe you're a little bit protected being on the outside, but it doesn't always feel like that. It doesn't always feel like you're being included or people get you or you found your people and you don't want to belong to the old tribe, but maybe your new tribe is still showing up. Well, in some ways that could be us where we get you because we are all on this twin flame ascension journey. We get it that there's two energies. There's yours and your twin flames that can affect you. We get it that you can feel things that you can't even explain to other people. M my mom would regularly be like, 
So what'd you do this weekend? Did you have fun? And it would be like, how do I explain to her? I went and did grid work or I was purging something or I had these gut issues, which I knew was your ancestry, mom, to, that I needed to get rid of. And I would just say things like, yeah, it was okay. Something mild. Because there are things that we go through that other people are not yet in it. They're not here yet, okay? They're either not awakened, activated, they haven't been doing the work, or they maybe they think they're doing the work, but they're still spinning in space doing the same old crap. They're not getting anywhere. It's the same thing, okay? I want you to make progress. Now, another way you can feel like a misfit is the thing that we call mental health. The thing that people forget about mental health is it is very strongly correlated to your physical health. Your mind actually has tissues. Your mind is connected to your brain and the organs inside your head. So what if some of those weren't feeling well? What if they were overloaded? What if they had witnessed too many things? Yeah, that would, that would affect your health. And mental health can affect your physical health and vice versa. Okay, but when people have to get these diagnoses, right, ADD, ADHD, or be criticized, or OCD, anxiety, depression, or you feel a little bit suicidy, and I don't mean to make light of that, but it's sort of a spectrum where people can feel vague aspects of like suicidal ideations. Why? because there is a memory in here, all the way to maybe taking it into action. YouTube kind of dings me if I really talk about this, but this is a serious thing and I am not making light of it at all. I've been there, I felt it. You might look at me and be like, wow, you might have so many things going for you, Patricia. It doesn't matter. We all go through that patch of time where we feel like we were the person persecuted, dr driven out of town, burned at the stake. Whatever it feels like for you, I am not here to invalidate your pain. And there are a lot of people that have pain or physical pain or nerve pain that also correlates with their mental health conditions. And we can make it better. It can get better. It can begin healing. Why? Because we are in the timeline now for healing this. And I mean healing it for good. Not just sticking a medication on it that people dread or think they're, they're going to have and carry that into their twin flame union. You're intended to get well, not continue to be unwell. Okay? What if you feel like a misfit, but it plays out differently for you? You're angry. You're provocative, you want to shove people, you want to get in people's face, or you're rebellious, right? Because angels bite back, angels push back. At some point, we push back. We're different. We are a higher consciousness being. We are not little animals because little animals will even bite back, gnaw off their limb, get out of the trap, and sometimes we don't because of our mental health. And that makes it worse for us as angelics because we're trapped. Okay, so if you're not sure if you're going to do this, this could be another way you feel like a misfit. Are you fitting in with all the other people in Twin Flame Landia? You're not supposed to. You may go through similar stages, similar phases. It is very unique to you still though. And then there's the stuff your Twin Flame has that you'll get a percentage of it. So... How do you do this? Well, I highly recommend join my class, Angelic Heritage, where we, where we will talk about some of this stuff. Starting on September 8th, we run it for three Sundays, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday at 9 a.m. Central. If, there, if there's enough interest for an evening class, if you want to do this in the evening when you get off work, let me know. Write me. Twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. Please read the description below. It helps me a lot if you like, if you subscribe, and the algorithm forward my video to a friend. Forward many of my videos to your friends because 
we're doing stuff here. We're cranking it up and rolling up our sleeves and actually doing the work that it takes to not feel crazy and to feel loved. And that's what you're here for because it's all about love and not the minutia of like what's happening here or there in your neighborhood. It's about participating in life and at times observing your own life and really feeling yourself like what what happened to you who you who you were at a young age okay i felt no fear i would go down the block and the neighbors would call my mom and they'd be like jackie your daughter's walking down the block right now this was a time when maybe it, it's not that kids never got kidnapped but let's say the risk factor was a little bit lower than it is now. And, you know, now everyone's on the lookout. They're like, a little kid is by themselves. Where's the adult? Where's the adult? Should I even touch that kid and hold that kid's hand till an adult shows up? And it's like a judgment call because you could get in trouble or you could be a hero or a heroine. In those days, I, I just remember how it felt. I felt utterly protected. And yeah, I also feel like I didn't fit in in a lot of areas, okay? There were other things that happened that I can look back on just like I bet you can. Please show up, talk. We love to have a live discussion. What do you look back on in your life that tells you you were on this journey even before you knew words like twin flame, okay? Sometimes those words are just like, they're just words, but I'm talking about who you are, the being you are, how it feels, come and join us. And please like and subscribe. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.